What is going on with you, YouTube? This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video. All right, by an overwhelming amount of likes that y'all left on the last video, that meant you guys want to see me break the game down. All right, don't have my hands on it. Have this footage. I can just talk about things I've noticed, things you don't have to play the game to notice certain things. You know, people say, oh, you haven't even played it. There's certain things you can see with your eyes and see what it is. All right, so it's the computer versus the computer. I don't have my hands on the game. The people that do have their hands on the game, I don't even know if they're allowed to break the game down like this. I, I can't say. I don't know. But uh, I haven't been seeing too many breakdowns, so we're going to get into it. There's one thing that I was looking for in this game that I was trying to see if they can execute. All right, so you have computer versus computer. You don't have user versus computer or user versus user. So I'm not sure if this will change if you're playing against the computer, but the one thing I was checking for in this game is authenticity. All right, check out this play. You got my man Wes Walker sitting in the flat. He gonna flip it to him. Plays insignificant. I wanted to see what happened after the play. When you're playing against the computer, um, will the teams play how they play in real life? So I was checking to see my boys, the Denver Broncos, hold on, they're huddling. <laughs> now we all know that Peyton Man is breakneck speed. Don't let the defense set up. Don't huddle. Um, and definitely in the first quarter with a minute left, he's not huddling. Um, I know they don't have signature styles and animations of individual players, but the game can be at least tuned. You cannot tell me that they cannot get these teams to play how they play in real life. And when you play against the computer in your franchise and you're playing against Philly, that they're trying to snap the ball before it's spotted. You guys know what I'm talking about. It'd be nice to get some authenticity. I mean, NBA 2K, you play NBA 2K, you play against the Spurs, you're going to see uh, Tim Duncan on that elbow shooting bank shots. And it's been like that since 2K11 that, you know, the tendencies of teams uh, manifest in a game. With the Broncos or with Madden, you don't really see it. And that, that really is a shame that, you know what I mean, teams do not feel individualized. Um, Broncos definitely should have not huddled, but that's what it is. That's what we have to look forward to. Let me know if I'm missing something. If you have your hands on the game and teams do play how they play in real life, let me know. Um, and I'll make a video saying I was dead wrong. But from this, computer versus computer, they do not. All right, next line of business as I'm watching the footage, I noticed something. And this is good in the game. Dave, yo, why are you showing all the good and the bad? You always waffling and flip-flopping. Yo, there's good in this game and there's bad in this game. Uh, I don't know which outweighs which, but this was good that I noticed. And we're going to check it out. My man Peyton hikes the ball, hits the guy right on time. And that right there, now this is something I might have to play to check out. But that looks like you could put the ball on an actual spot. Because he had to actually go and get this. And that's something I noticed with Madden. And I think we've all noticed that, you know what, the ball, even though they had those new trajectories, it just seemed like you couldn't put it on a spot and have your guy go get it. Um, all Pro 2K8 did that great. But that has an All Pro 2K8 look. How he had to go low and away and dive to get the ball. If he didn't dive, he wouldn't have got the ball. And if that's the case, man, because I don't know. I didn't play Madden 25. Maybe I'm missing something from Madden 25. But if that's the case, then you know what? That is something much improved um, from Madden 13, the last one I had my hands on. This play is the Hail Mary to uh, in the half. We're going to check out the halftime show. That's what we're going to do. We're going to check out the halftime show, and I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about it after it's over. Welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Broncos are involved in a very competitive game. The Jets' offense has been on the field more often than not to this point, and that's something they'll want to duplicate in the second half. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Here early in the first, Curley's got the reception, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 17. Broncos with the ball early in the second. Manning's got the completion through the middle. And 21 yards later, he'll go in for the score. The Broncos go up by four. Broncos with the ball late in the half. Thomas has got the catch here on the quick pass, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to their own 38-yard line. Still a little time left on the clock. Sanders has got the catch here, and he'll end up at the 45-yard line before being tackled. So that'll wrap it up for us here at the EA Sports Studio. We'll head back now to Denver for the start of the second half. Welcome back to... All right, man. I'm going to need you guys to sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think of the halftime show. I'll give you my opinion on it right now. Um, people were telling me they thought it was good. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's pretty bad, actually. I, it just sounded really disjointed. Sound like they, however they mixed the sentences together, you could kind of hear that the sentences were just mixed together. Um, I don't really like the guy doing it. And I know people, I know what the thing is, is that people are happy that we're finally getting a halftime show and are not basing it on how good it is. The halftime show should really tell the story of the half and there's no way you could tell me that that halftime, story, halftime show told a story. So, yo, I, I know people are like, give them time, it's their first go. But if you can't match what was done 10 years ago, then I'm going to have to knock you down for it. I, you know what? I, I'll tell you when you're doing good and I'll tell you when you're doing bad. People are like, you know, next year it'll be better or, you know, they need to build on it. Man, we are in 2014. There was a better halftime show put together in 2004 that cannot be ignored. I'm not giving you time because I'm giving you my $60. So, yo, if you if you say you didn't have the time, then I can't buy that excuse. <laughs> I can't buy that excuse. You didn't have the time to make a good halftime show. That one, I just don't find it to be good. I might be a little off and expect it a little much, but I know what can be accomplished in video games. And you cannot tell me that we cannot produce a halftime show that tells the actual story of the half in an intriguing fashion. This one doesn't. All right, y'all seen that kickoff return? Though. That was kind of nice. All right, let me know. Let me know what you guys think, man. Y'all gotta get active, and I'll get at you guys another time. Peace.